Welcome to Nairobi News Hub, your go-to destination for in-depth sports analysis with a special focus on soccer. I'm your host, Johnson Freeman, here to break down the latest matches and player performances. We also have you covered with expert insights, detailed breakdowns, and engaging discussions. Let's dive into the world of soccer together. Manchester United's Collapse Alarming stats piling pressure on Eric Ten Hag after 3-0 defeat to Tottenham. Manchester United season took a major hit after a devastating 3-0 home defeat to Tottenham Hotspur. Eric Ten Hag, the man tasked with restoring United's glory, finds himself in the spotlight, with troubling statistics piling up as evidence that his side is struggling. The defeat not only highlighted United's defensive frailties, but also shown a light on their inability to finish off key chances. Let's delve into the details that have placed Ten Hag under immense scrutiny. Tottenham's early dominance. In what seemed like a statement performance, Tottenham dominated from the start. Mickey Van de Ven's run past five United defenders to set up Brennan Johnson's opening goal was a perfect display of the gaps in United's defensive structure. Even before Bruno Fernandes saw red, Tottenham were making light work of United's defense. Gary Neville described the performance as one of the worst under Ten Hag, a sentiment shared by many. The statistics further illustrate just how poor United have been at the back, particularly at home. Tottenham racked up a staggering 4.67 expected goals, XG, the highest any side has recorded against United at Old Trafford in 258 Premier League games. No comfort at Old Trafford. The once formidable Old Trafford fortress has crumbled under Ten Hag. In his last 20 home Premier League games, Manchester United have lost eight, a drastic fall from their previous record, where they had gone unbeaten in 20 consecutive matches. This form has made the so-called theater of dreams a playground for visiting teams. To make matters worse, fans have witnessed back-to-back 3-0 defeats at Old Trafford, first to Liverpool and now to Tottenham. The pattern of conceding three goals has become all too familiar, with United losing five home matches by that margin under Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag's heavy defeats. Unfortunately for the Dutchman, the list of heavy defeats under his reign is growing longer. From the 7-0 humiliation at Anfield against Liverpool to 3-0 losses to the likes of Manchester City, Newcastle, and Bournemouth, the team's defensive record is becoming increasingly concerning. In fact, their recent string of losses mirrors the end of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's tenure. Some of Ten Hag's most notable defeats include Brentford 4-0 Manchester United, Manchester City 6-3 Manchester United, Liverpool 7-0 Manchester United, Sevilla 3-0 Manchester United, Manchester United 0-3 Tottenham Hotspur. Attacking struggles, lack of clinical finishing. While United's defense has been a focal point, their struggles in front of goal are equally alarming. With only five goals in their opening six games, they have underperformed in the attacking department. Despite accumulating an expected goals, XG, total of 10.6, they have only managed to convert a fraction of their chances. Joshua Xerxes, Alejandro Garnacho, and even Bruno Fernandes have all missed clear-cut opportunities in front of goal. The team's conversion rate of 10.53% is the second worst in the league with only Southampton performing worse in that category. United have drawn blanks in three games already this season, further illustrating their attacking woes. United slipping in the league standings. Manchester United currently sit 12th in the Premier League table, with just seven points from their first six games. This marks their joint worst start to a season since the competition began. After finishing eighth last season, their worst ever Premier League finish, Ten Hag's side now faces the risk of slipping further down the table. Brentford and other mid-table teams have outscored United since Ten Hag's arrival, placing further pressure on the manager to turn things around quickly. Ten Hag's costly squad. United's struggles are made worse by the heavy investment the club has made under Ten Hag. The Dutchman has spent over £600 million on players, yet the squad is failing to perform. Six of the starting players against Spurs were brought in by Ten Hag including high-profile signings like Andre Onana, Mathis De Ligt, and Lisandro Martinez. Even with the likes of Case Miro, Mason Mount, and Rasmus Hodgland coming off the bench, the squad remains Ten Hag's creation. This places the responsibility for their underwhelming performances squarely on his shoulders. Slow starts becoming a habit. 
slow starts are becoming a troubling hallmark of Manchester United under Tin Hack. Against Tottenham, Brennan Johnson netted the opener just 155 seconds into the game, and Kulusevski added a second shortly after halftime. This was not the first time United had conceded two goals within minutes of each other. A similar scenario occurred against Leeds in February 2023 and against Nottingham Forest earlier in the same year. These early setbacks are a recurring issue that Ten Hag has struggled to resolve, leaving United exposed from the very beginning of matches. Conclusion What's next for Ten Hag? Eric Ten Hag finds himself in a precarious position as Manchester United's manager. With mounting pressure from fans and pundits alike, the next few fixtures could prove decisive in determining his future. United's defensive woes, combined with their inability to finish chances, are dragging the club into unfamiliar territory. As the team sits in the bottom half of the table, Ten Hag must quickly find solutions to avoid a further slide and potentially another managerial exit at Old Trafford. As things stand, Manchester United are far from the force they once were, and time may be running out for Ten Hag to fix the problems. Thank you for tuning in to Nairobi News Hub. I'm your host, Johnson Freeman, and it's been a pleasure breaking down the latest in the world of football with you. If you enjoyed the analysis, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on all our future content. Until next time, keep the passion for the game alive. Let's meet in the next video.